What's up, people? Welcome to episode two of my quest not to suck. Now, I don't want to talk about it too long because you can obviously see my shittiness on screen. But I found like a couple things that are uh, definitely uh, I'm having a hard time adjusting to. I I I don't get in vehicles. I I, I can't drive them. I, I can't do it. I I'll fly a plane or I'll get in a helicopter, or even a fucking tank. I usually get a tank stuck. How the hell do you get a tank stuck? It's supposed to drive over everything. But the thing that I'm finding a uh, really hard time with is because uh, I was so used to a controller for so long is, you know, I'll go to switch to my secondary or I'll go to drop like a medical kit or something like that. And, and I, I lose track of my buttons like my left hand just turns absolutely retarded and doesn't do what it wants to do or what I want it to do anyway. And I just start like smashing the freaking keyboard. It, it, it's a mess. So like I'll get in these like real close encounters and I'll run out of bolts or something like that. And. Uh, I'll go to switch to my secondary and I'm throwing like, you know, a healing pack at the other guy or I'm pulling out, you know, something, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely getting a little bit more comfortable with it. My aiming still isn't, it, it's not good, it's not great, nothing like that. Um, the downfall of playing on PC is that there's so many of these 24 hour or 24 7 just this map, 24 7 just that map. So you, you don't get a good feel of all the different maps, which. Uh, granted, a lot of these ma uh, servers that run the 24-7, they're, they're good maps. It's just, I, I want some variety. I want to see what everybody saw at the beginning of the game, which I, I, I know is impossible because it is so, you know, past its outdate. But whatever, I I'm still having a great time with it. I'm still uh, still improving. Y you'll see through this video, uh, there there's a lot of mistakes that I'm still making. But like I said, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trudging along. I'm getting better. But now the other thing I really want to talk about today is thieves people that steal shit i fucking hate them absolutely hate them uh, and i can't stress the fact enough i hate them it is one of the dirtiest things you can do i mean how much like of a douchebag do you got to be in your life to 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 steal shit I, I don't care if it's you're going all the way up to stealing like big stuff like cars and you know mass amounts of money and stuff like that all the way down to like hey i'm gonna steal this fucking sew it out of the refrigerator that I know is not mine, or something stupid like that. Doesn't matter. It, it sucks. You're a douchebag for doing it. And the reason I bring this up is a, a, a few... Alright, well, I'll start off like this. In YouTube, um, you, you'll hear about like uh, a lot of like with the bear commentators and things like that, where uh, people, you know, steal ideas. Most notably, the raw instinct thing. And uh, gameplay. People were stealing gameplay. Where do you think watermarks came from? I mean, obviously it was a necessity. People stealing somebody else's gameplay just so they can commentate over it. I mean, how douchey is that? And for me, I'm such a you know small YouTuber. You know, in the, the grand scheme of things, I'm tiny. So it's kind of like that whole, uh, you know, that saying that people have, you know, well, it's not going to happen to me. You know, kind of like getting struck by lightning or AIDS or something like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I think I just compared YouTube and AIDS. But, yeah, anyway. There, there was no thought in my head that it was, was going to happen to me. And someone mentioned it once, you know, oh, well, people are assholes. And yeah, yeah, I get it, you know, people are going to say, you know, try to be mean, try to troll, things like that. But I, I was never expecting to even be big or anything like that. And so it wasn't a thought. Well, I, I recently made that video, Outbreak Diaries, and this was a few weeks ago, and it, I, I didn't want to mention it to anybody, I didn't really tweet it out, I, I talked to a couple friends about it, but I, I didn't want to send more traffic to this guy. My friend uh, messages me, and he's like, hey, did you give this guy permission to upload your video? And I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, I, I've only given one person permission to upload that right now. And I, I click on the link, and it's my video, it's Outbreak Diaries, and it... it for second to second, like, he didn't add anything to it, nothing like that. The one thing he did do, though, the son of a bitch, is he monetized it. So not only did he not do the work, but he monetized it. And I found myself, at first I'm like, okay. I'm a little upset, but not that big of a deal, you know, I'm just going to get it taken down. But the more and more, like, I thought about it, like, the more and more mad I got, like... I was just fuming over this fucking thing. I put a lot of fucking work into that video, and that asshole had the nerve to fucking put that up on his channel like it was own. Nothing in the description about it saying that, oh, well, this is mine, or this is his, nothing like that. He just put it up as his own, monetized it, and said, go with it, roll. Are you fucking kidding me? Really? I mean, 
obviously I, I flagged it I, I sent a thing into uh, YouTube I'll even put the link down in the description below it says on there you know copyright claim by habitat and all that stuff so it was taken down he he, he made pennies on the dollar it, it didn't really get that much mu um, much views he, he didn't promote it at all and nothing like that but the thing about it was it was taking um, traffic away from my video from my channel because if you typed in you know a Daisy Machinim or out uh, outbreak diaries or anything like that his was the one that popped up and it would cancel mine out for uh so it wouldn't show the same video twice you, youtube has that thing where it, off to the side you can click it and then it'll actually show both of them so it was taking traffic away from my channel i fucking hate thieves uh, i guess the moral of the story is don't be a douche don't be a thief it, 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 at least at least it got taken down but man it's one thing I didn't realize. I I, I, re, I do want to end this. Is I'm getting kind of lengthy, and I was talking to somebody about it earlier today. When I was just watching YouTube, it was all great. You know, you're just watching it. It's it's a lot of good time. Maybe this is better fit for another uh, another commentary or something, another video. But I can't believe like now that I'm actually making videos and uh, I'm engaging myself into YouTube, how many dirty tactics there are that people use to grow their channel to get views to you know get subs and like all this stuff to, to grow a channel and th there's nothing wrong with with some of these tactics you know uh branch now working with people you know visiting forum sites and things like that there's nothing wrong with that but there are so many dirty tactics that people use it's it's it sucks it really sucks especially for the people that try to do it the right way it fucking sucks Oh man, sorry. Uh, I really hope you enjoyed the gameplay. I will uh, talk to you guys later. Hopefully I'll have another video up for you soon. And as soon as I hear more uh, about uh, Outbreak Diaries, when it's going up, I will uh, let you guys know. Maybe, maybe I'll throw like a quick little vlog up or something like that telling you guys. Otherwise, I'm out. Peace. Peace.